guys, Squatch Reloading here. Today I want to address um, some tips for you guys that are just getting into reloading. I noticed a lot on the I noticed a lot on the uh, Facebook groups and on YouTube. There's a lot of people asking questions uh, about getting into reloading, and that is awesome. So I want to get what the. So I heard a strange noise in my basement. My reloading room is. And it looks like I got squirreled. I think my wife has taken over my shop. Anyways, let's get back at it. <laughs> All right, so we were a little interrupted, but I'm going to jump back in it here. Um, things that I would suggest for you if you're thinking about getting into reloading. Um, and the first thing is, what press are you going to get? And my suggestion would be, Get a single stage press like this Rock Chucker here or the Lee Cl Classic uh, press. Um, they're all very good. They all have great warranties and those companies stand behind them. The other nice thing about the single stage press is as you progress into your reloading or if you don't, um, this press comes in handy. I use it uh, for decapping, for now for bullet sizing. And um, yeah, you can make quality ammunition off this press. So a single stage press is what I would recommend, but if, if your budget allows and you want to jump into a progressive, go for it. It's just a lot more to learn at once, but my advice, get a single stage press. All right, aside from the press that you decide on, uh, the most important thing in my opinion is a reliable way to get the desired charge weight of powder into the cartridge. Um, you can use a, a manual uh, throw, a uh, powder measure like this one from RCBS, whether you want to go with an electronic um, powder measure like this one here uh, from Frankfurt Arsenal, but or even using the, the manual spoons and a, and a hand trickler um, are all good ways, but you need to familiarize yourself with those and what you think is going to work for you, how much you're going to reload, what you're going to load. Um, all those have, they perform uh, better and quicker for different cartridges, but the main thing is the reliability and being able to uh, reproduce the same charge weight every time. And that kind of segues into you need a good scale. And most of your kits are going to come with a beam scale like this one here, and they are very accurate. Um, I use uh, the beam scale, and then I, I double check it on an electronic scale like this one. This one's the D uh, uh, Terminator from Dylan. But you can pick up an inexpensive uh, digital scale on Amazon for, you know, 10, 15 bucks will get you covered. But I always like to check and verify against uh, two different scales, especially when I'm doing uh, small runs on my single stage or even over here on my Reading turret. So those are very important pieces of the reloading puzzle. Another intimidating piece of reloading is which dies to buy. Um, and and here, here's what I'm going to say. Every manufacturer makes quality dies. Um, you're going to get, you know, especially uh, fishing out into the forums and the Facebook groups and stuff. A lot of guys are brand, are very brand loyal, and if it's not their brand, then it's no good. Um, I have used virtually every, every brand of dies: Lee, Hornady, RCBS, Redding, Dylan. They they all make great dies. Um, it's just some of the dies are more geared towards, you know, their press. Like Dylan dies work really good on Dylan presses. Um, I don't particularly care for them on anything but a Dillon press. Um, the Redding dies work real good on Redding presses, and it's mainly because the way their lock rings are set up. But they're they're good dies. Um, but a lot of your other dies, like RCBS, Lee, Hornady, they'll work on anything. Um, so don't get hung up on which brand you have to buy. Just just get one. And and my advice um, when when we're talking about dies specifically, and you're doing auto loading pistol. I see tons of guys making mistakes on crimp, and most of the time it's due to a combo seat and crimp die. And I would suggest uh, buying a four-piece uh, die set, one that seats and one that crimps. If you can't find that, Lee makes a great uh, factory crimp die, um, and what you would do is, is back, back your seating stem up so that it doesn't crimp, but uh, that is a very common mistake. Um, so I would suggest seating and crimping separately. And again, 
all of your dies, they're all very high quality um, in today's market. So you can't go wrong with, with any that you choose. Just get started, that's the main thing. Okay, my last piece of advice for the new reloader today is if you're going out and getting your first batch of components or you're buying all of your, your press and your accessories all at once, um, after you get your powder picked out and your primers and, and all that, what I would suggest is when you go to buy your first set of projectiles, just grab a box, like for example, these are Nosler, and find and see if it has, if they have a book. And this is what's great about Nosler, is their book matches their bullets. So you don't have to do a lot of uh, thinking about case overall length and charges and what components to use because it's all right here. You know, when you get into a lot of bulk reloading and commercial cast bullets or your own cast bullets or different off-brand projectiles, they're not necessarily called out in your load manuals and you need to do a lot of uh, reading. You know, in my reloading room, I, I have just, just downstairs here, there's at least seven uh, reloading manuals. You know, I, I don't uh, buy a lot of commercial bullets, but, um, or I should say a lot of off the shelf that you'd find at your Cabela's or your Bass Pros and things like that. But, um, you know, if you're going and, and you're getting bullets, grab, grab a book that matches your bullets like this Nosler or Sierra or even Hornady. Um, it takes so much of the guesswork out and you can focus on you know, the process and setting up and not having to worry about, you know, is this load going to work or am I going to go, uh, I, don't, I bought these bullets and I can't find any information. Um, it just adds a lot of uh, cumbersome steps in the process. So my, my advice would be get a bullet uh, or projectile that, that has a load book already available and you're going to be farther ahead and get to spend more time learning the other steps of the process. Okay guys, so there's some quick advice uh, from me if you're thinking about getting into reloading. But if you have any specific questions, p please feel free to reach out to me at squatchreloading at gmail.com. You can always find me on Facebook and Instagram at Squatch Reloading. All my videos are here on this platform, but uh, go over to the Reloaders Network and uh, find me over there. All these videos are there and on GunStreamer. And don't forget to check out the Georgia Shooting Connection Friday night live stream on Friday nights at 8 o'clock and the uh, foreign and domestic uh, live stream over on Sunday nights. But uh, until next time, guys. God bless.